Hi everyone, welcome to All with Miss Lin. Today we are going to talk about tint. So tint in the color theory, when we mix color, it means when you add white to a color, so it becomes a tint of something, right? So for example, <clears throat> when you have um, red and then you add white to it, right? It will become kind of like a pink. So pink is a tint. Or you have blue, then you start adding some white into your blue, it will be a light blue, right? So that's what a tint is called. And today we're going to practice adding white to a color to make a um, value scale of like an um, ice cream cone. So I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to practice uh, from painting from light to dark, which is adding the tint color. But first of all, let's sketch out the ice cream. I love ice cream. I'm not sure about you. That's my favorite dessert. <laughs> so we're going to start from the middle of the paper. And I'm going to have my cone right at the bottom. So you know the shape. You can start with a, <clears throat> a long triangle. right? So I used a brown crayon, or you can use black and just kind of draw out a long pointy, not so pointy, but stretch out round corner triangle like this, right? And then on the top, I'm going to add a few scoops of ice cream. So what you can do first, you can start from the top. You could think about maybe uh, around three or four scoops. Let's pretend that we are really into ice cream. So I start from the top. It could be circle or you could make it kind of wavy like this to make it look like it's uh, overlapping right like that and uh, melting a little bit already. Right. So let's separate this into four. Right. So when I get down to here I could kind of trace over the brown a little bit. Wow. It's a pretty big ice cream, ice cream cone. All right, and then the next thing is, um, if you want to decorate your cone, you draw some lines like this. Or sometimes the, the top should have like a rectangle first before you have this. So, something simple. Keep this simple like that, and then we're going to choose the color, or the flavor of your ice cream, right? So if you're thinking about strawberry, maybe you can go to, you're going to paint um, red, different tints of red. If you're thinking about mango, you're gonna need like orange, right? So different um, value skill of uh, orange, right? So when I say value, it's also refers to uh, something from color from light to dark. So if you are thinking about um, green tea, which is my favorite flavor, um, then you're going to do like different tints of green, right? So you get the idea. I have my paint ready next to me. Usually I don't put the paint right um, where my arms and elbow would be, but for the purpose that I could show you everything, I put it right here. But normally when you paint, it's best to have your paint like on the top. So your elbow, when you move around, you don't push the paint off or your water, right? But for the purpose of letting you see everything on my screen, I'm going to leave it here. So think about the color you want to use. And so I'm going to mix the green. Maybe you just want to use red. Maybe you want to use um, orange. Maybe you would just want some blue for like blueberry. Actually, blueberry is a little bit purple, right? So I'm going to mix a nice green, starting kind of dark first, with some yellow and some blue, half of each, half some, half yellow, half blue, so then my green is kind of um, strong, right? So this is the regular green. I'm going to start from here. Now again, your color might be orange or red or just yellow 
or like banana maybe. Then slowly introducing the white to the green, right? So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of white, just a little bit, right? And then use this part, not the whole thing. I'm not going to um, cover over all the green that I have. So I'm going to start with this, maybe mix into a little bit more, as long as it's a little bit lighter than the original. Right, so this is pretty, pretty like a medium white, medium green. So I added white so you can see this part is a lighter green. Right. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to paint another layer, the one on the top. This time again lighter. So what do you do? You add more white, right? So this time I'm going to add a little bit more white. And you can see if this is lighter, right? If it's kind of similar, then maybe you need a little bit more. So we want to practice how much white you're adding. So then they look like they are from dark to light. Mm, now this is look, this is looking yummy. <laughs> I like this green. Right, so now the last one is the lightest, right? I guess we could have covered the whole entire green because yeah, we don't really need it after, unless you want to add something else with the original green. But this way you can see it changing, right? From uh, dark to medium to really, really light, right? And the last part is not just white. I still have a little bit green on it, but it's just very, very light. All right. And if you achieve something like this, now that we have the value of green from light to light green to medium green to a darker green right then you accomplish this painting lesson right as long as you can see it changing then you already know how to practice or you already accomplish this the goal of this part now the rest of the picture you can continue you could mix the color to make a brown and then add some background and designs around this. This time I'm using red, yellow, and blue to make a brown, right? So brown is kind of interesting practice to make a different, there's different kinds of brown. So it's good to practice depending on how much yellow you add, how much blue you add, your brown will look different, right? So, I'm going to paint this part. This is kind of like a medium brown, slightly to the dark side, a little bit like dark brown almost, because I have blue in it. Now, if you want to make the brown lighter, what color do you need to add? The lighter color out of the three primary, right, which is yellow. So if you want your brown to be a little bit lighter, not adding white, by the way, you could, you could add the white to the brown, or you can use more yellow in your brown. But when you add too much yellow and a little bit of green, I mean blue, it becomes kind of green, so I need to add a little bit of red back to the brown. So brown is a very tricky color, but fun to to explore and try to mix, right? So I'm gonna make the top part a little bit different, right? Now I have two different kind of brown. And then to finish it off, you can decorate your background. You could add more ice cream. Usually what I like to do is to add 
polka dots to make it colorful. We can paint the whole thing with a color and then add some designs, right? I hope you have fun painting your ice cream and practicing different tints from light to dark. Thank you for joining me. I will see you next time. Bye.